You should be watching this video for your sun, moon, rising sign, or Venus sign. Um, but the moon's gonna resonate the best for you, most likely. So if you don't know your moon sign, check in the description box below, and there's a link there that'll help you figure out what that is. You can also be watching this if your partner or ex-partner is of this sign. And a good idea is that sometimes when these videos come out right away, they're gonna resonate right away and sometimes they're not. So yes, a personal reading is going to give you the most accurate information, but also sometimes these energies don't click with us because these things haven't happened yet. They're going to happen mid-November or they're gonna happen at the end of November. So keep that in mind too. You could bookmark it, come back to it, or you could just say fuck it all, I don't like this bitch. That's your prerogative. Um, but let's just get started with your video. Hi, Sagittarius. Okay, so Sagittarius singles. What's generally your situation in November? Uh, <coughs> <coughs> it's hilarious that all of a sudden I started coughing because that's a sign. That's clairsentience right there, lads and ladies. Um, communication is gonna be your biggest issue. It's going to super be an issue. So either your communication is broken, it's hard to communicate with other people um, effectively, or somebody's lying to you, or you're lying to yourself, but that's a fucking problem. Now, they're like, in general, it's a good idea to make wishes, to have hopes, to have dreams, especially for the long term, because the universe is happy to support you in all of that. Um, but you really have to feel what it is that you desire in order to be given what it is that you desire. Now, speaking of which, what is it that you desire? What is it that you want in November? And they're saying, um, you kind of like the drama, at least right now. But it's a good thing because what it means is that old ways of thinking, old ways of doing things, old ideas that we have, they're crumbling. They're falling apart so they can be replaced with new, better things. So that's actually great. Um, the trouble is though, like understanding this on a mental level that sometimes we have to go through some shit so we come out stronger and that's hard to cope with. Now, you being a fire sign, this is great. The queen of wands, like owning your confidence, like really being excited and passionate about what you think, what you want, what you desire. Um, but also being a little superstitious, like being a little bit guarded, kind of knowing, um, that things aren't always perfect. And you know, if we get what we wish for, being careful of what we're wishing for. So just kind of remember that, keep that in mind. Okay, so this is sort of what we want, at least on a subconscious level, um, combined a little bit with our conscious level, but then what is it that we actually need in November? And they're like, well, we needed this drama, just like they're talking about. Like you're kind of subconsciously craving it because you actually need it to learn some things. Because here's the deal. You might be in some um, cat fights. This is more of a dog fight. <laughs> but what it's saying is like, you're coming head to head with people because maybe you want the same overall thing, but you have different ideas on what that looks like, okay? So you might be meeting people who also want a long-term relationship, but maybe to you that means first you live together. Maybe to them that means first you get married. And that's a problem and it causes some rifts there, okay? So they're saying um, that for some of these kinds of situations, that just means you're not compatible, that it's totally hopeless, and that you shouldn't try to force something to be a stable, good something when it's not meant to be. So that's the trouble in meeting people this month. Um, if they're not super aligned with what it is that you desire, then they're probably just not for you. Sometimes it's about going through those struggles together and growing, and sometimes it's not. And this is just one of those months when it isn't. 
So um, they're saying, so how is it that you get what you want? And they say that by kind of going through the pain of understanding that sometimes we think we want something and then we understand it's not good for us and we kind of let that go, that that's the best thing for us. Um, sometimes, you know, let's say you're, you were in a relationship with somebody before and you thought they were really good for you and then they hurt you in some way. Maybe they cheated on you. Maybe, you know, um, whatever. But, but they're like, using that as contrast is going to help you move forward. Going through some drama, having your heart broken a little bit, being disappointed about the way that things have transpired so far to get you to this place makes you really super clear on what your boundaries are, what you're going to tolerate, what you actually desire, what you bring to the table so that you can, you know, be with somebody who actually appreciates that. And so they're saying, you know, don't give up on what it is that you desire. Don't settle for less than what you deserve. You're going to be super aware of that this month. Follow your gut instincts and your intuition because this month they're spot on. And if other people have things to say to you about how they think you should live your life or what you should do, their advice is probably kind of crap in contrast this month at least to your own gut instinct. And you have a number message here, so I just want to pull that up. Um, give me a moment. And it says, angels are all the way around you, totally guiding you and supporting you, which is probably why your intuition is spot on. And they're like, you have all these heavenly beings around you this month, so you really have nothing to fear. Go with your gut no matter what in November for all of you single Sagittarius. Okay, so what is it that you need to release in order to welcome like your forever kind of person in in the month of November? And they say it's kind of like this defensive strategizing, right? So remember how we were talking about old ideas and, and things kind of changing and shifting? So you have to assess like if the way that you think about things or the way that things should be done um, is actually how you still currently feel or if it's something that you've said about yourself for a long time, like, oh, this is the kind of thing that I will put up with or I won't put up with. Or, this is the kind of thing that I like or I don't like. Like if you're not going to be flexible on that, that because that's your deep inner truth, great. But if you've outgrown it, you need to assess that in order to welcome the right person in. Um, they're like, because... The right person is probably here, like a very stable person who's kind of really got their shit together as far as like work, money, um, routine, job, that kind of a thing. But, you know, like this paranoia that someone who's really, really great for you out, um, isn't out there or like that they have like some flaw that you're going to find out later. Like, oh, they seem really fun and sexy and exciting when I first meet them and then I find out that they're totally wacko. Like, if that's the belief in the mindset that you have, that's going to be what you divine into reality. So, not to be like a negative Nancy or anything, but this is like a very, very mental month for Sagittarius. You really need to think about um, the kind of people you're meet meeting, um, what are you doing in order to like block yourself from receiving love, and also furthermore, like, what are your ideas? Do they still serve you? Do they still identify with who you are and what you want because we change a lot. I mean, we're not the same person from 16 years old to 21 years old, that for sure, and from 21 to 30. And I'm sure from 30 to 40, you know, our tastes change a lot and our ideas change a lot. So um, you're probably in one of these transitional periods where things have sort of changed. And they said, so, you know, this is not a month to do things quickly. And don't get over emotional about it. Just be like as rational as possible, but go with your gut instinct. Okay, so um, what is the overall lesson for you, single Sagittarius? Okay, <laughs> so individuality and integrity are what they are. And so it's saying like you being uniquely you, you've got to figure out what your truth is like honesty from within your soul and then take action in accordance to that so that you're manifesting love into every situation. That's the message. So it's kind of what we built up to here. Now, coupled Sagittarians, what do we have in November? So there's some challenges here and we have to decide in our relationships 
Like, do we let it go or do we fight through it? So I don't get this necessarily in the sense of like, oh, this is a challenge for our relationship. Should I let the relationship go or like work through this? I mean, that could be the possibility here. But what I'm getting for the majority are, it's like picking fights or not. Like, oh my gosh, you fucking forgot to take the trash out again. Do I want to nag you about it? Or do I just want to like... Take a deep breath and do something different. It's that kind of a thing. Um, because we understand that like these constant battles aren't for our highest good. And really, it just screws up the communication that we have in our relationship. So there's that. Um, what should you keep doing in your relationship in the month of November? That's kind of an interesting mix here. So... <laughs> They're like, this idea of wondering whether um, the challenges are, like, worth bringing up or not, they're like, it totally isn't. It totally is not. Um, because it doesn't, it doesn't change anything. It only creates resentment between the two of you. So avoid drama as much as you can in the month of November. You know, maybe in December it's going to be a great time to go ahead and nag them. But November it's not. So... <laughs> They're saying, um, even though like some of the things that are happening here might make you sad, like just take a little space away for yourself. And the month of no November is really what you should be doing because it's going to make you feel better about yourself, about who you are. So this is part in particular about spending money on yourself. And I know that sometimes that's hard, especially leading up to the holidays. Um, but this is really important, like taking time to get a massage, to get your nails done, to buy yourself something, um, to golf, whatever it is that you like to do um, without your partner. Try to do that like at least twice in the month of November because it's going to help you feel better. And it's going to make your relationship better. So what should you stop doing in the month of November? Okay, so they're like, twice a month is key. Don't take it to extremes because that'll cause a fight. Um, but the thing is, is you don't want to be overly honest with your partner in the month of November. And that's kind of what I was talking about, about avoiding drama. <laughs> you know, like, hey, um... That outfit just looks ugly, you know? I mean, that is usually okay to say because then maybe they'll change their outfit into something cuter and be thankful. But perhaps this month your partner is going to be like, all you ever do is pick, a, pick on me and take it to an emotional extreme where maybe it wasn't intended that way. And so it's not to say like you shouldn't communicate with your partner, but um, keep it as positive as possible. And a little bit of space this month is going to be the best thing for you because... Um, the trouble is that this month in particular isn't one where it's like planting really positive seeds that are going to grow into something beautiful. They're like, if you're planting anything, you're planting weeds. So it's hard to have a lot of confidence to know what to do when the energies are weird like this, but just be really careful to, um, <laughs> to avoid any kind of drama or argument in this month. Um, so what is your general advice? They're like, you know what? If there's something that you have to say, think it through. Be really, really, like if you have to, have to, think it through. Be really slow in your approach. Because you could really create a shit storm this month with your partner. Focus on the positives, not on the negatives. It's just like, it's really, really strong here. The same message reiterated again and again and again. So let's see if we can get some sort of advice and I'm going to pull from this deck as well. <laughs> okay. So they say the lesson is commitment. I dedicate myself to my beliefs wholeheartedly. And I know that love is the very essence of my being is how we would turn this card into an affirmation. Okay. So be very, very loving. Oh, do you see that? Was that like a little angel or, um, be very, very, so that's what, this is very important this month. When they show up like that, it's important, especially cause that one was so slow. Usually they're like, Phew. okay. So anyway, um, 
being very, very loving with your partner is going to be very important, avoiding the drama this month. And then here's the perfect affirmation. I love how tarot works, how angels work, um, because they say, here's an affirmation to tell yourself when shit gets hard. I am in a joyous and intimate relationship with a person who truly loves me. You might need to write this on a sticky note and keep it in your pocket, keep it in your wallet, put it on your car, put it on your toothpaste this month. Okay? Now for the rest of you who are either in a back and forth relationship or it's not Facebook official, what do I have? They're like, um, again, a little bit of alone time is really good for you. Think about how um, your relationships in the past have transpired or how your history with this person has been in regards to like when it's not emotionally super great because that's exactly why you need this alone time. <laughs> And if you're not thinking about it, take that alone time to think about those things. Because what is the lesson here in regards to that? They're like, <laughs> exactly like it was with um, coupled Sagittarians. Like, okay, well, drama is going to happen. Like, we have to challenge our beliefs. It's kind of the theme here for Sagittarius. And we need to feel very strong and comfortable in our beliefs moving forward. So that's November. See you in December. Mwah! Love and light.